I'm Teco Baz. Welcome to the channel. The channel that's all about radio, vintage, turntables, stereos, uh, all sorts of things. I hope you like what we do on our channel. Enough of the chit chat. Let's get on with the videos. Well, hi again everyone. Teco Baz back again. Now, the um, the radio in question. I finally got rid of um, some of the nitty gritty stuff that we had to do. So now it's a matter of um, the next bit in this video. We'll be cleaning up the chassis. Um, she's looking a, a little bit, a little bit grubby. We've tried a couple of spots in in around here. Comes up rather well actually. I've removed the tuning spindle from in here. Cleaned up a lot here. So there's a bit of cleaning. The um, the capacitors. There's one that we've replaced, which is uh, actually an old 500 volt 16 mic, and um, just put the mount on it. He tests okay. He doesn't have any leakage and um, should do the job for the moment anyway to keep things original. And I have actually restuffed this fellow. We've pulled him apart. You'll um, probably uh, take a break at the moment and see some pictures. Just have a look at these and you'll see what's inside this fella. It was uh, it was not a very pleasant job having to do that. It was, um, yeah, a lot of things just weren't real good because of the um, the corrosion and everything on the can. But anyway, here's the finished product. Put him all back together. He's ready to go, ready to mount. I did actually put some, uh, because we had to uh, split the cardboard cover to get it off, um, I have put on some um, clear heat shrink over the top. So, um, but it will look the part. He just um, will mount in there like so. Um, so we'll clean it up, get that done, and then I'll come back where we'll start rewiring and eventually capacitors. Get a decent picture. Be good if I had good lighting in here, wouldn't it? But there, there it is. And um, we'll come back as soon as we um, we start on the, the caps and the wiring. Okay, we'll take a break until then. One thing has led to another, and uh, I've taken this a little bit of a step further as far as um, cleaning. We've um, changed the top a bit. I've taken the tuning gang off and give him a little bit of a scrub up. He's not 100% but um, it's pretty good. Made sure there is no shorts between the, uh, between the plates. So all is good there. You just give him a good scrub up. I've actually um, taken a couple of other of the um, the mounts off as well, which otherwise been cleaning the chassis. What we use here in Australia anyway is brake cleaner. That's what I've been using here, and it's absolutely 100% fantastic does an absolutely incredible job as well as they're not my wife's they're um, makeup pads little pads spray a bit of a bit of your uh, brake cleaner on them and give it a wipe over and uh, the, these are amazing absolutely amazing and I also use um, from once again from um, West Components these um, cotton bud to uh, get into the more difficult places and things like that, you know, under the transformers and so forth. So it's all coming up okay. The next thing, which I will, um, I'll give you a, a bit of a zoom there on it. Where can I get it? Where's the best picture? There, as you can see. The wire coming out of the um, uh, the first IF is um, not real good, so I want to replace that wire. So of course I have to take the transformer out. I've loosened it. I've taken off the um, the two um, nuts 
at the bottom. You can see they're loose in there, but I think I'm going to have to, by the looks of things, I've just got to get this camera right. There, that's that's a bit better. I've just got to unsolder uh, the can, I think, and um, I thought the can, the cover, may just slip off, but it doesn't want to indent it around the bottom there to uh, hold the transformer in. So we're going to have to take the whole thing out. So anyway, um, just an update of where I'm up to, and we'll... Uh, I'll get back to you very shortly on on the next the next um, steps that I'm doing. As I said, one thing's leading to another. I'll be doing those as well. They're just the brackets off the side of it. These little pulleys fairly stiff, so I've got to take them off and re-grease them and um, put all this back together. So until we sort of get the whole thing back together, I'm, I'll, um, I'll probably record some of, um, of the transformer and you can have a look at um, what I'm doing in that one. Okay, we'll be back soon. Okay, we have got him out and um, as you can see on the bottom now uh, the little tags are uh, holding him in. So it's a matter of straightening these little fellas carefully. And the coil assembly should uh, just slip out of there. And it will. First of all, uh, I shall desolder I can't get any heat transfer here. Okay, there we go. Now, this should just pop out. Boy, that wire's a mess. There we go. Okay, so take notes on which way this comes out. I have a very small mark there with front on him. Now I'm going to put a very small score mark and that mark will tell us that this side, that side goes to the front which I've got written there otherwise we put him in back the front and rewire it and um, yeah could be a problem right there we go now the wire I have to replace is just that little fella all we're going to do is desolder him and we'll cut a new piece of wire out of this fella um, cloth covered wire and around about the same same length give or take a little bit more and there's our new piece of wire. Now, before I do all this, we'll, we'll, um, we'll resolve this and come back and I also want to clean the can up while I've got it off. I will probably do this um, to the other one, we'll, we will see how this one cleans up. But uh, on top, looks quite nice uh, in around the edges here, pretty ordinary. 
Otherwise, um, IF transformer looks to be in good order. We'll clean that up a little bit on the bottom, uh, the top there. Uh, the, the slug, the screw, the slug looks good. Everything looks perfect with it. So, okay, we'll come back a little bit later. Well, guys, that's a wrap for part three. I hope you're enjoying the video. If you are, hit that little like button. It helps me a lot. And part four will be up very soon. Um, there'll be a little bit of details on putting it together and so forth and uh, a little troublesome niggly thing we find putting it together. Okay then, until then, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.